success has no shortcuts but android certainly has a lot of them no kidding what's up guys this is rupesh from bbom.com and today i'm going to show you some really cool shortcuts you can use to speed things up on android sounds good let's get started ever accidentally dismiss an important notification well we have all been there thankfully you can check all your previous notifications with a simple shortcut to add the shortcut press hold on the home screen and tap on widgets scroll down below in the widgets page and add the settings shortcut then tap on notification log in the list of various shortcuts available and a shortcut will be created now you can just tap on the notification log shortcut to see all your current and previous notifications there are times when you want to capture a photo quickly however the camera app can be tough to launch in various situations well android 6.0 marshmallow and later versions let you easily launch the camera app by just double pressing on the power lock button if you're using a device running android 7.1 you can just head to settings moves here just enable the option all the other devices should find this option in settings display want to call or text someone quickly or want to navigate home via just a tap well android natively lets you create shortcuts via the widget section to directly call or message your contact with a single tap you can even set up a shortcut to navigate to a certain place via the maps navigate widget moreover instant messenger apps like whatsapp let you create shortcuts for a contact or a group chat so that you can easily access them with just a tap also you can create shortcuts for almost any activity in android's native functionality or even a third party app you can do this via the activity launcher app The app lists down every activity that's available on Android. You can just press hold on an activity in the app to create a shortcut of it on the home screen. For instance, you can create a shortcut for any deep settings page, a shortcut to jump directly to Gmail's compose screen, or even a specific Gmail label. You can play around with various activities in the app and you might end up creating a cool personalized shortcut for yourself. Google now helps you get things done quickly. which in turn makes it one of the best android shortcuts you can use google now voice commands to control various settings launch apps set alarm or reminders take notes navigate to a place play music and a lot more and you can do all of that hands free thanks to the okay google hot word you need to make sure that okay google detection is active from any screen in settings voice also You can use Google Now on tap from any screen to quickly set a reminder, alarm, timer, or even navigate to your work or home address. Moreover, you can also search for points of interest like restaurants, hotels, gas stations, etc. All of that by just press holding the on-screen home button. That is a definitely cool Android shortcut, don't you think? You can check out our article on some cool ways you can use Now on tap from the link in the description below. We text a lot there's no doubt about that but switching between different messengers to reply to messages can be pretty hectic well what if you could reply to a message right from the notification center while well, android nougat brings inline reply support for all types of messages chances are you're not using nougat and you won't be using it anytime soon in that case you can get this feature via a third party app dubbed quick reply after you've set up the app The message notifications will have buttons for reply, direct and read and it looks identical to Android N's implementation. As you might have guessed, the reply button lets you reply to a message directly from the notification shade. The direct button lets you send one of the preset messages and the read button lets you mark messages as read. You can use the quick reply actions from the lock screen as well. The good news is the app works with almost all the popular messaging apps. like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Skype, Telegram and more along with Gmail and the stock SMS app. If you're someone who loves to multitask on your Android device, you'd know that switching between apps isn't very intuitive. 
Thankfully, on Android 7.0 Nougat, you can just double tap the Recents button to switch between the current and the last app. For people running an older version of Android, you can use the Last Switcher app, which lets you do the same via a floating icon. You can also check out the Easy App Switcher app, which lets you switch to the last app or jump to one of the favorite apps from a panel. You can check out our article on the best ways to switch apps in Android from the link in the description below. Unlocking your Android smartphone can take quite some time if you have a lock enabled and that can be problematic when you are in a hurry. If your Android smartphone packs in a fingerprint scanner, you already unlock your device faster. However, if you have an Android smartphone which does not feature a fingerprint scanner, you can still unlock your device faster, all thanks to Smart Lock. Once you've enabled Smart Lock from the settings, you can set trusted devices like a Chromebook or an Android Wear smartwatch. You can also set trusted places, faces and voices to automatically unlock your Android device. There's also an on-body detection feature, which keeps the device unlocked when it is in contact with your body. If you have an Android smartphone with physical navigation buttons, it can be a little tough to use them, especially if you're using a phablet, while iPhone offers assistive touch, which brings shortcuts to the hardware buttons right on your screen, Android does not offer such a solution natively. However, there are a number of third-party apps like Button Savior, which bring the same functionality on Android. After you have set up the app, you get a small icon, which when tapped, brings you buttons for home, recents, back, camera, volume rockers, etc. You can even add custom shortcuts so that you can launch an app, open a web page, or even lock your phone from the screen. If you own a smartphone that runs stock Android, chances are you're using the official Google keyboard. Well, the Google keyboard packs in a number of cool shortcuts that you can use to boost your typing skills. First up is the ability to capitalize individual letters quickly. Generally, when we need to type a letter in capitals, we tend to hit the caps lock key and then type the letter. On Google keyboard, you can just swipe from the caps lock key to the letter you want to capitalize to make things faster. Next up is the ability to enter numbers or symbols quickly. Going to the punctuation page and then entering numbers and symbols isn't very user friendly when you're typing fast. But the good news is you can just press hold the symbols key and drag it to a letter that corresponds to a number or symbol in the number and symbols page. Another cool Google keyboard shortcut is the ability to move cursor with the space bar. Moving the cursor to edit text can be really annoying. And most of the times we tend to miss the exact point. Well, if you're using Google keyboard, you can just swipe left and right on the space bar to move the cursor around. The last Google keyboard shortcut we are going to show you lets you delete complete words. Press holding the delete key is the usual way to delete text, but it's not the most accurate or streamlined solution when it comes to deleting a few words. Google keyboard lets you drag the delete key to the left to delete complete words. If you want to speed up your Android experience, you should start using gestures. Android packs in some really cool native gestures like triggering the multi-window mode in Android 7.0 via a swipe from the Recents button and more. Along with these native gestures, you can create your own gesture from an app like All-in-One Gestures. The app lets you create custom gestures for all the corners and edges of your smartphone's display. You should definitely check out our popular video on Android gestures from the link in the description below. Well, that's it for now. Those were some really handy Android shortcuts that will definitely make life easier for you. Hit the thumbs up button if you like what you saw. Comment if you have any questions and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already as it really motivates us to bring more cool videos for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.